Let us have example number T for a simple linear regression. The table shows the height in inches and the shoe size of seven senior high school students. Assume that there is a correlation between these two variables. What is the regression equation? What will be the shoe size of a student if he or she has a height of 55 inches? So based on the problem, sabi dito, let us assume that there is a correlation between these two variables. So hindi na po natin kailangan i-compute yung correlation coefficient. But in reality, you have to compute for that. Okay? Hanapin daw natin yung regression equation, which is dy is equals to a plus bx. And then using the equation, hanapin naman natin yung shoe size ng sudyante kapag siya ay may height na 55. Ito po yung x and this is the y. So first is compute mo po muna natin yung a and b para makuha natin itong prediction natin for letter B. Okay? So, ang mga hahanapin po natin, syempre, X, XY, and then, X squared. Okay? And then, we, got, we have to get the uh, summations. So, una, kunin po muna natin yung XY natin. So, para makuha natin si XY, ang gagawin lang po natin ay 2, Multiply lang po natin yung x and y. So, we have 65 times 8. So, we have 520. Okay. Next naman natin is 63 times 7. So, we have 441. Okay. And next, we have... 62 times 6, so we have 372. Next, we have 58 times 6, we have 348. Okay, and so on. Okay, next naman po natin is we have the x squared. So yung column ng x natin, is e squared lang po natin siya. So first, we have the 65. Squared lang po natin. So, we have 4, 2, 2, 5. Okay. And then, 63 squared. So, we have 3,969. Okay. And 62 squared. We have 3,844. And so on. Okay. Next po natin kuhanin is summations. Kunin naman natin summation ng x natin. So, we have 65 plus 63, plus 62, plus 58, plus 61, plus 50, plus 52. So, the answer is 411. Okay, next naman natin kuhanin is summation ng ating y. 8 plus 7, plus 6, plus 6, plus 5.5, plus 4, plus 4.5. So, the answer is 41. So, summation ng y natin is 41. Next, summation naman ng xy, 520 plus 441 plus 372 plus 348 plus 335.5 plus 200 plus 234 equals 2. Decimal lang natin, 2450.5. Next natin is the summation of the x squared, 4,225 plus 3,969 plus 3,844, 3,864 plus 3,721 plus 2,500 and plus 2,704. So the answer is 24,327. So after po niyan, syempre, ilalagay na po natin yan sa ating formula for the A. A muna, compute muna natin si A. So, we have A equals to summation ng Y natin is 41 times the summation of the X word is 24,327 minus summation ng X natin is 411 times the summation of XY is 2,450.5 all over N natin ay 7. Summation ng x squared natin is 24,327. 
minus summation ng x is 411 and then squared. So, para sa calc u, kung gusto niya siya, gusto natin siya i-compute sa calc u, sa mga may two-liner calculator, ang guide nyo po dito ay uh, open parenthesis 41 times 24327 Diretso, minus 411 times 2450.5, close, divide, open, 7 times 24327, minus 411, squared, close, equal. Okay, so compute naman natin yan dito using our calculator. So, we have 41 times 24327 minus 411 times 2450.5 and 7 times 24327 minus 411 and then squared. So double check natin. Baka may nakalimutan tayo. So we have 41, okay, 2427, 411, 2. Okay, so equals na po natin. So the answer will be equal to, kunin lang natin ang uh, 4 decimal places. Once again, we get the 4 decimal places. So we have negative 7.1261. Okay, and so that lang natin lahat. 69, ah uh, sorry, 9649122. Kunin lang natin 4 decimal places, so we have negative 7.1261. So, ito na po yung A natin. And then, compute naman natin si B. So, we have N is equal to 7. Summation ng XY is 2450.5. Minus summation ng X natin is 411. Times summation ng Y is 41. All over, 7 ulit. And 24,327 minus 411 squared. Okay? And para sa mga calc u, mga may two-liner calculator, paano natin siya i-compute? We have open parenthesis 7 times 2450.5 minus 411 times 41. Close. Divide open. 7 times 24327. And then, minus 411 squared plus equals. Okay? And, compute natin siya sa calcul natin. We have, gamitin ko naman yung naka-violet naka dito. Okay? Open parenthesis. Okay, 7 times 2450.5 minus 411 times 41. Close, divide, open. 7 times 24327 minus 411 squared. And then, close equals. So, let us see. The answer is equal to okay, we have okay, we have B is equals to 0 0.2211 Get the 4 decimal places 0 0.2211 so, ito na po yung B natin. Okay? So, now that we have the value of our A and B, kunin naman natin yung regression equation. So, to get the regression equation, meron tayong pattern na Y equals to A plus BX. Y is equals to negative 7.1261 plus the value of B is 0. 2, 2, 1, 1. And then copy x. So, ito na po yung ating regression equation. Okay? Then, to answer the letter B, what will be the shoe size of a student if he or she has a height of 56 inches? So, yung shoe size po natin is yung y. Height of the student is 56. So, dito po yung ating x. So, using the formula, we have y equals to negative 7.1261 plus 0 0.2211 times 56. Compute lang po natin yan sa Haltiu. Let us see what will be the shoe size of a student if he or she has a 56 inches in height. 
Okay, we have negative 7.12631 plus 0 0.2211 times 56. So we have 5.2555. So 5.2555. Okay, or approximately equal to 5. Okay? Sabi sabihin, kapag ang isang bata ay may 56, ang kanyang height, ang kanyang shoe size will be 55 inches. Okay?